And now it's Taylor Swifted. Hey, Swifties, leave John Mayer alone. I'm 33 years old. I don't care about anything that happened to me when I was 19. So uh, she had a show for her Eras tour in Minneapolis, and every show she does like a surprise song. This time she did Dear John, which of course is about her ex, John Mayer. Well, there's a lot of Johns, to be fair. True, but we were able to safely rule out John C. Riley and John Bon Jovi, so Mayer is all that's left. Anyway, because Taylor's currently re-recording the album that Dear John is on, she told the crowd... I'm not putting this album out so that you can go and like, should feel the need to defend me on the internet against someone you think I might have written a song about. A.K.A. You can come out from hiding under your bed now, John. It's too little too late. She unleashed the hounds on John Mayer and now 20 years later she wants to say back off? She didn't unleash the hounds, we came. <laughs> Why did you come to? to because it's you, Taylor, you right, just said right. Taylor unleashed the hounds. <laughs> yeah, we got it without the howling, thanks. Anyway, the big question here is... Why didn't she defend Jake Gyllenhaal? Has she already done that in the Eros tour? The Jake Gyllenhaal song? All Too Well 10 Minute version. Does she defend Jake? No. Because now she's saying, I will call off the hounds for people that I don't feel as bad anymore, but I still feel awful. Hounds attack. Jake Gyllenhaal. So thanks, Taylor. And John, you're safe now, buddy.